So if you're used to using configurations, you probably already know that they're a great way to control your files. But especially when you're dealing with very large assemblies or very large part files, it can be very time consuming to go in and have to load up your file and then switch to the configuration that you actually wanted to use. But you don't actually have to do that. You notice here in the opening dialog, there's actually the option here to select directly right away before opening the file which configuration you want to make active whenever the file opens. So this can really save a lot of time, especially for really big files like this that can take you know quite a bit of time to get loaded up. This way, once it's loaded, you are ready to go with exactly the configuration that you are planning to use. Now this can be a great time saver, especially for you know when you have files with a lot of configurations. But this tool actually has another use, and it's one that we on tech support use quite often. And that's for doing a bit of troubleshooting whenever you run into problems with maybe your assemblies. So you've probably run into this uh, before once in a while, that maybe if a file's been saved across a network or something along these lines, you might open it up and suddenly you get errors saying it won't open. So this is our little trick. We'll go in here under the configurations and select this advanced tool. And whenever you open up a file in, with that advanced option selected, you'll now get another dialog window and here's one to make a new configuration with all components in this assembly suppressed. So then we just need to enter in a name and now when we open up this configuration all, or sorry, this assembly, all that opens is the assembly with the structure and all the components are suppressed. So this way now you can go in and start unsuppressing these one at a time and what this will do is it'll tell you if one of these components has an issue with it, immediately you will see which one has the problem and you can pinpoint which one needs to be fixed. So this is just a little trick that uh, we use on tech support and this might be very helpful for you in a situation where maybe you can't get a hold of us right away or if you're trying to troubleshoot this on your own.